the first really big chase of the season. This is a Charlie Hall chase, the first gold cup pointer. And it's nice to see we've got a really big field in this. We're not going to get that many big fields this season, but it's got 19 in this one. And it should be an absolute cracker. I thought we got Dragon's Cry, winner last week for Leon van Rensburg, a long term project. Graham Clutterbuck, Mesher here, Agenda for Jay Harrison, one of a few newcomers. We're going to have baptism of fire in this one trap mind, Leon van Rensburg, Orchid Heartbeat. Jay Harrison, Royal Wedding, Matt Cooper, Seltzello, Manor, Darren Thompson, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Alexandra Cornwall, and Flowers for official for Padre Hogan. Habily, a winner last week, Darren Thompson, Lavere, Panariva, David Robertson, Leo's Holiday, Alex Cherry, Mallorca Dream, David Hooley, Nightclub, Craig Beck with Penelope Pitstop, Martin Lidham, Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson, the Sled, the Shepherd for Joshua Sutherland, and Vintage Cherub, Craig Beck with their off and racing already. And heading down to the first. Of this is a nice mixture of horses who did well last week. One or two newcomers thrown in the deep end, and quite a few returners from last season or even the season before. So it should be a fascinating renewal. They get over the first of the 22, and they all get over it nicely. And Dragons Cry, the winner last week, and many people's early favourite for the Gold Cup, is already five or six lengths clear of the Shepherd in second. And Penelope Pitstop is third, they get over the third. Down on its nose was Darren Thompson's Hamley, who was a winner last week. And as we've seen with a lot of Darren Thompson's horses, they either win or fall over. And they get over the fourth. And they're all over that one, and everybody's still on their feet as they pass the winning post with two complete circuits of the Weatherby track ahead of them. And Dragon's Cry is not hanging about, leads by six lengths to the Shepherd in second for Joshua Sutherland. And Penelope Pitstop is in third. Penelope Pitstop was around two seasons ago. And Pitstop, a grade one or a grade two hurdle race over three miles, I think. Yeah. Trying a hand at chase. I think she may have won a chase as well. I'm not sure. Can't remember. To be honest, Habley is back in fourth. Then comes the long term project on Watchtower. But the figure are pretty well strung out. And Dragon's Cry, the favourite. He's clearing the lead and really attacking these fences. He's making a, a length in the air every time he jumps. And he's already seven clear. Let's see what happens at this next one. A ditch and again he skips over it as though it wasn't there. The Shepherd second, Penelope pits up third. Hamley's back in fourth. The one thing for certain is this is going to be a true test of stamina. There's no two and a half mile are going to steal this as they get over the next. And Dragon's Cry is well clear over. Number eight from the Shepherd second, Penelope Pitstop third. Then a gap back to long term project and Rebecca Sledmere in Hamley and Watchtower. And Leo's Holiday next as they take the next ditch. Which they all get over nicely. And it's a long, long time since there were 19 runners in the real Charlie Hall. Oh, it turns up about three or four, doesn't it? And it's Dragon's Cry who's clearing the lead. Only by about four now, though. They're just giving him a bit of a mid race breather. They were going really quickly early on. And they've got well strung out. The Shepherd is second, Millie Pitstop is third, and then Long Term Project is four, with Rebecca Sledmere five, and Howard is six, and then Michier Agenda is seven, Leo's Holiday eight, and Alexandra Cornwall nine, and then Flowers for Official, and Night Clubber. Orchid Harbour, oh, the leader this time ran right into it. He made a really bad mistake there, and so did Leon's other horse towards the back. One track mind. And over this ditch, the leader jumped it a little bit better, but the lead is down to half a length now. That's the thing with this jumping game, you can be going really well and be clearing the lead, but you make one mistake and suddenly it's a different kettle of fish altogether. But Dragon's Cry continues to lead. From the Shepherd, who's jumping better in second. Look at this Mesher here agenda going around the outside as they pass the winning post, then with one more circuit to go. A Mesher here agenda up there, a share of third with Penelope Pitstop, is a newcomer for a newcomer trainer on his first day's racing. And that one's well up with the leaders as they turn and head away towards. 
the next fence then. Let's take a look where they all are. Dragon's Cry is in the lead. The Shepherd is second. Happily is now third with Mesh Hero Agenda four and Penelope Pit Stop five. Then Leo's Holiday six. Flyers officially is seven. The Long Term Project is eight. Then Rekka Sledmere is nine. And then South Salo Manor and Nightclubber and Orchid Heartbeat. Then Mallorca Dream and Alexandra Cornwall. Watchtowers after that one. Vintage Cherub Lavare, Pella Riva, One Trap Mind. And finally, Royal Wedding as they get over number 14. They're all still on their feet. And Dragon's crying the Shepherd over this ditch. The Shepherd might have just landed in the lead there. They're certainly in the lead now. But Dragon's Cry coming back up on the inside. And over it they go. From Habbley third. But Happy Pit Stop is fourth. In comes Saltzala Manor getting a bit closer as they get over the 17th. And it's Dragon's Cry in front. The Shepherd second. Long term project has come through into third now. Wide open as they chase the leading pair. And over this ditch they go. And Dragon's Cry landed in the lead from the Shepherd in second. Long term project. Hammerly. Penelope Pit Stop. Saltzala Manor. Then Flowers for Fischl. Then Orchid Heartbeat trying to run on. As they begin to swing towards home in there. And Dragon's Cry has been in the lead pretty much all the way. Headed a couple of times momentarily by the Shepherd. Habbley's coming. No, South Salem and North Sorry's going around the outside into third. Then Long Term Project. Orchid Heartbeats running a monster race. Then comes Habbley on the inside. Love Air Prevair is trying to run on. Penelope Pit Stop's lost her place. So is Leo's Holiday. Flowers for Fischl coming around the outside as they get to the 19th and over that one. It was South Salem and North who landed in front. South Salem and North's gone on by a length. Two Dragons cry in second. Watchtowers are forward at the back and over the third last and it's South Salah Manor in the lead. Lavea Pereira is gone so too is Mallorca Dream but suddenly South Salah Manor is four or five clear but that's a really bad mistake in the second last and now the Shepherd comes through to challenge it's South Salah Manor from the Shepherd they race down towards the final fence South Salah Manor gets over it nicely the Shepherd over in second and South Salah Manor looks as strong and despite that mistake in the second last and he's racing away towards the line South Salah Manor is going to take it for Darren Thompson the Shepherd is second Dragon's Drive third Habbley four then Knight a vintage show, Rebecca Sledmere flies for fishing after that. And all the way back to Royal Wedding, I think was the last one to finish. And certainly went a good old gallop in that, and South Zello Manor takes it for Darren Thompson. I had a feeling that one was around last year. The Shepherd will probably be on feel unlucky. Yeah, South Zello Manor for Darren Thompson was around last year and takes it. The Shepherd. Oh, Joshua Sutherland was second. Dragon's Cry for Leon Van Rensburg was third. Habberley, Darren Thompson was fourth. And then Nightclaw for Craig Beckham was fifth. And you can see from the ratings there, all the top rated horses in the race. So there are going to be some battles between them throughout the season, I should think. So an excellent Charlie Hall goes to South Zello Manor and Darren Thompson.